Okay. So as usual, we will start with the uh, session. Let's read. So there is a passage here. You will uh, listen to the passage once, and after that, I will read it once again. And after that, I'll show you the passage for a while for you to read it by yourself. Okay. So listen to this reading carefully. Passage. Aung San Suu Kyi is a citizen of Myanmar, one of India's neighboring countries. She has been fighting for democracy in her country and protection of human rights of the people of her country. Most of the people support her and want an elected government in their country. It is ruled by a military government. Aung San Suu Kyi was put under house arrest many times by the military government of Myanmar. She has lived under house arrest for 15 years. Aung San Suu Kyi was born on 19 June 1945 in Yangon in Myanmar. Her father's name was Aung San. He played an important role in getting independence of Myanmar from the British rule in 1947. He was killed in the same year. Su Ki's mother was Hin Ki. Hin Ki was sent to India and later to Nepal as the ambassador of Myanmar. Aung San Su Ki came with her mother and studied at Jesus and Mary School in New Delhi. She later joined Lady Sri Ram College, New Delhi. She also studied at Oxford University in London. She lived in New York, London and Shimla for some years. She married Michael Aris in 1971. She returned to Myanmar in 1988 to take care of his sick mother. She spoke against the military ruler General Nguyen and his party. She was shocked at the ill treatment of the people of her country by the rulers. She was put under the house arrest many times. She received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991. She was awarded Jawaharlal Nehru Award for International Understanding in 1992. She was finally released from house arrest on 13 November 2010. She continues her struggle for democracy and human rights. Okay children, so have you listened to this particular passage? Fine, we will read it once again. I will read it for you. Listen to the passage carefully. <clears throat> Aung San Suu Kyi is a citizen of Myanmar, one of India's neighboring countries. She has been fighting for democracy in her country and the protection of human rights of the people of her country. Most of the people support her and want an elected government in their country. It's ruled by a military government. Aung San Suu Kyi was put under house arrest many times by the military government of Myanmar. She has lived under house arrest for 15 years. Aung San Suu Kyi was born on 19th June 1945 in Yangon in Myanmar. Her father's name was Aung San. He played an important role in getting independence of Myanmar from the British rule in 1947. He was killed in the same year. Suki's mother was a Khinki. Khinki was sent to India and later to Nepal as the ambassador of Myanmar. Aung San Suu Kyi came with her mother and studied at Jesus and Mary's school in New Delhi. 
she later joined lady shriram college new delhi she also studied at oxford university in london she lived in new york london and shimla for some years she married mikhail eris in 1971 she returned to myanmar in 1988 to take care of her sick mother she spoke against the military ruler general nevin and his party she was shocked at the ill treatment of the people of her country by the rulers she was put under house arrest many times she received the nobel peace prize in 1991 she was awarded jawaharlal nehru award for international understanding in 1992 she was finally released from house arrest on 13th november 2010 she continues her struggle for democracy and human rights <clears throat> okay so that's the passage so before we go on to the questions i will leave the passage here for a few minutes so that uh, you can go through that and uh, read the passage right
Right children, now we will go on to the question answer part from this particular passage to check whether we have understood this passage or not. So now answer these questions. When and where was Aung Zhang Suki born? When and where was Aung Zhang Suki born? So the answer Aung Zhang Suki was born on 19th June 1945 in Yangon in Myanmar. Okay. So the second question. When did Myanmar become independent from the British rule? Myanmar became independent in 1947 from the British rule. So what we need to understand is along with India, Myanmar also was a colony of the British as India got to freedom and uh, in 1947, the British people also left the Myanmar region also. Okay. <clears throat> so, Myanmar became an independent country in 1947 from the British rule. Question number three. Which school and college did Suki attend in India? So we knew in the passage that along with her mother, she came to India and did her studies in India itself. Isn't it? So which were the schools and the colleges where Aung San Suki studied in India? Suki attended at uh, Jesus and Mary's school in New Delhi and later joined Lady Sri Ram College in New Delhi. So Suki attended at the Jesus and Mary's school in New Delhi. So she did her schooling in a Jesus and Mary's school in New Delhi. And after completing her schooling, schooling means, yeah, after completing her 10th class or 12th class, she joined Lady Sri Ram College for her higher education. Both are in New Delhi itself. Okay. Now the next question. In which year did Suki receive the Nobel Peace Prize? So in which year did she receive the Nobel Peace Prize? Suki received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991. What is Suki fighting for? What is she fighting for? Suki is fighting for democracy and the protection of human rights of the people of her country. Suki is fighting for democracy and the protection of human rights of her people. Okay. So now we will go on to the next question. Let's practice. Follow your teacher while she or he says the following words. Okay. So here we have got a comparison of two sounds A and O. Okay. A and O. So this is a symbol for the sound A. And this is a symbol for the sound O, the long sounds, okay? Both A and O that we uh, deal with in this particular session are uh, long sounds, okay? Long sounds means what? Uh, yeah, we need to pronounce it for a long time, right? Check the first one. Glass. 
glass, task, last, far, fast, cast. Okay? Glass, task, last, far, fast, cast. Right? Now the second set is fall, mall, walrus, shawl, talk, tall, talk. Right? See, on both these situations, we are dealing with only one letter, A. Isn't it? Yeah, even if we write a single A, it has got a two different types of pronunciation. One is a long A, second is a long O. Right? So, check the first one. Glass, task, Last, far, fast, cast. Second set, fall, mall, walrus, shawl, tall, talk. Right? So now as we usually do, we will compare the first and the second one. Right? Glass, fall, task, mall, last, walrus, far, shawl, fast, tall, cast, talk. Right? So now I'll keep the screen for a while so that you can practice both these okay be very careful while uh, doing it but practice it thoroughly Right children, <clears throat> now we will go on to the next one. 